Three balls and two strikes. The overshift is on. And Bassick deals. And Bonds hits one high. Hits it deep. It is out of here. 7.56. If you follow baseball at all, you'll know that that swing marked an era. With it, Barry Bonds surpassed Hank Aaron as the all-time home run record leader. But it was not a celebration without controversy. For Barry Bonds was surrounded by a scandal involving performance-enhancing drugs. The entire public knew about it. But what we did not know is exactly what these drugs did. In this movie, I will be talking about the processes and effects of anabolic steroids. Many people think that steroids started within the last decade, but that could not be farther from the truth. In reality, steroids are just as old as cheating itself, with people eating and drinking certain substances to increase their athletic ability over thousands of years ago. The first time anabolic steroids were called into question, however, were in 1952, when the United States discovered that the Russian uh, weightlifting team was using anabolic steroids. We called it into question in terms of fairness because they were winning so many gold medals. However, the negative side effects were not well known, and so it was well popularized in the later years in the United States. Since then, it's been considered the dark side of sports, with players like Mark McGuire. Yeah, I was using steroids thinking it was going to help. Alex Rodriguez. Uh, I was young. I was stupid. Um, I was naive. And Marion Jones. I have betrayed your trust. However, what people do agree on, despite negative side effects, is that steroids do affect the human body. Before I begin to model what steroids do to the human body, first I'll define and categorize them. Steroids are actually quite a natural part and helpful part of the human body. They help uh, metabolize carbohydrates, store fat, and grow muscle. And when I refer to anabolic steroids, I'm not talking about a certain type of steroid, I'm talking about a certain property. Different steroids all have um, different properties, including estrogenic, which is maintaining female development, progestogenic, maintaining pregnancy and ovulation, catabolic, breaking down different molecules to simplify them, androgenic, maintaining uh, masculine development, and anabolic, which is just ma maintaining growth in general. In the sports world, androgenic and anabolic steroids are most heavily used because of the emphasis of masculine and strong features. Anabolic steroids all derive from testosterone. Every steroid affects the human body in virtually the exact same way. It can be modeled with a burglar, me, the steroid, entering the house or the cell. The first step is entrance. This is quite easy for the steroid because they're all fat soluble and so it can permeate the cell walls quite easily. Almost as if they have a key. The next step is for the steroid to bind with a receptor composed of proteins. In this case, a pair of comfy slippers, without which the whole process could not be possible. The next step is going after the DNA, in this case, the computer. It is here. The DNA, the computer, the hardwiring for the entire cell, with the complex comprised of the steroid and the oh so comfy receptor, do its job. And for the most part, they do exactly what they were intended to do. They can increase muscle growth and development rates by the production of myosin and actin levels. For example, I could maybe do your taxes or clear up your desktop. But there can also be some very embarrassing effects as well, like hacking into your computer or posting an embarrassing picture of you on Facebook, like this one of my mom. It is in this way that steroids can help and harm your body by infiltrating your most complicated and important system in the body, the DNA. Anabolic steroids have had a rich history throughout time. First, they started as a sort of miracle drug and now are becoming more taboo and black market. We've seen the unique process in which the steroid converts information to the human DNA and the positive effects that can come along with it, like muscle growth and development. However, there are some negative side effects as well. Irritability and delusions, known as roid rage, are a major factor, as well as tumors and high blood pressure. For men, noted effects include testicular shrinkage and infertility, and for women, a deepened voice and changes in menstrual cycle. 
The long-term effects are ultimately unknown because of lack of research. Except for we do know one thing, it can ruin a life's worth of hard work. No matter what your opinion is on the matter, one thing is clear. Anabolic steroids have and will continue to have a profound effect on the human body and the human culture.